Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Senior Chief Petty Officer Keith German of the 7th Naval Construction Regiment, United States Navy Seabees, and also the Director of Veteran Services for the Town of Hingham. I will be your moderator for today's ceremony. At this time, I would ask all in attendance to please rise as members of the Hingham American Legion and the Veterans of Foreign Wars Post proudly parade the colors and remain standing as we offer an invocation by U.S. Navy veteran Reverend Mr. John McHugh. Detail, attain, hook. Present, hook. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Deacon McHugh for the invocation. Good morning. Dear Lord, we ask you to come down and to be with us as we honor our brother our veterans. They had a remarkable job, which they did with your help. We want, to, we want to honor the veterans now on the 50th anniversary. We ask this through our Lord. Amen. Amen. Welcome today to the Hingham Town Hall, Sanborn Auditorium. I wish to recognize our state and local officials who are here with us today. State Senator Patrick O'Connor, State Representative James Murphy, and State Representative Joe Machino could not be with us today as they are in session up on the hill, but have passed their good wishes to all those in attendance and all those veterans that are receiving their awards today. We are fortunate to have with us today Board of Selectmen Chair Paul Healy. Raise your hand. <laughs> Selectman Mary Power. Selectman Karen Johnson, Town Administrator Tom Mayo, Assistant, Assistant Town Administrator Michelle Monsegur, Deputy Police Chief David Jones, Deputy Fire Chief Louis Lachance, and our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Dorothy Gallo. Before we begin today's program, I would like to invite the Veteran Service Department liaison from the Board of Selectmen, Karen Johnson, to make some brief remarks. Karen. Good afternoon. On behalf of Chairman Paul Healy, Mary Power, and myself, I welcome you to the Korean Ambassador Peace Medal Ceremony this afternoon. The, uh, the, the service to this country, I don't know about you, but when I walked into this building, the service to our country by these veterans is palpable. And your appreciation by taking time out of your beautiful Friday afternoon to be here to celebrate and honor that uh, speaks volumes for the commitment of this community to our veterans. So I thank all of you for being here. And most of all, I thank all of you for your service. Thanks very much. Thank you, Karen. First, let me say we here in Hingham, we are rightfully proud of all our Korean War veterans. 
So at this time, if there are any veterans in the audience who served in Korea or any other capacity during this war, to please stand now and be recognized by this body. Thank you so much. Please be seated. For all of you here today, your sacrifice in the land of the morning calm, more than six decades ago, foreshadowed the nearly 50 years of struggle with communism, what we call now the Cold War. But we are here today to recognize what began 68 years ago this past June and ended with the signing of an armistice which silenced the guns 65 years ago, this very day, July 27th, 1953. The war itself has never officially ended. No peace treaty has ever been signed, which is why some 30,000 troops remaining on the Korean Peninsula, serving in the South along the DMZ, are the deterrent. If hostilities erupted today, they would be standing in the front lines. They stand the watch on the DMZ, 160 mile long, 2.5 mile wide zone which separates both North and South Korea. This strip is one of the most heavily militarized borders in the entire world. Today this community has chosen to make certain that we never forget. Never forget the 1.6 million U.S. veterans of this war and especially the 36,576 who died there, and that they are properly recognized and memorialized, for they served without question, without reservation, for this just cause. To keep America and her allies free, thank you to all our Korean War veterans. Now, if I could ask that you please draw your attention to the veterans seated on this stage to my right or left as I read the official proclamation. And I quote, it is with great honor and pleasure to express the everlasting gratitude of the Republic of Korea and our people for the service you and your countrymen have performed in restoring and preserving our freedom and democracy. We cherish in our hearts the memory of your boundless sacrifices in helping us reestablish our free nation. In grateful recognition of your dedicated contributions, it is our privilege to proclaim you as an ambassador for peace with every good wish of the people of the Republic of Korea. Let each of us reaffirm our mutual respect and friendship that they may endure for generations. Signed. Minister for the Patriots and Veterans Affairs, Republic of Korea, P. Wu Jin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are fortunate with us today to have members of the Hingham High School Veterans Appreciation Club seated to the rear, dressed in red shirts, who will assist me in presenting these medals to these deserving veterans. I would ask that the veterans remain seated and that you hold your applause until all medals have been awarded. Corporal Theodore A. Baldwin, United States Army. PFC Jockham Ingo Borowski, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant J.G. Charles Y. Chittick, Jr., United States Navy. Staff Sergeant John W. Fee, Jr., United States Air Force. PFC James J. Hyde, Jr., United States Army.
First rank. First rank. Attain hook. Guys, rise, please. Second rank, Sergeant Robert D. Keyes, United States Air Force. Corporal Herman Mesmer, Jr., United States Army. First Lieutenant Edward J. Roach, United States Army. Petty Officer Third Class Theodore N. Smith, United States Navy. Second rank, Octane Hoop. Hey, salute. If I could now get a round of applause for these gentlemen. Thank you. Please be seated. I now draw your attention to the front row of this auditorium to my right as family members and friends of the Korean veterans who could not be with us today. They will rise as their service member's name is called and will be presented with the commemorative medal from the Veterans Appreciation Club of Hingham High School. Please remain standing after you receive your, your box. First order in the third rank, Sergeant George R. Alexiades, United States Army. Sergeant James F. Healy, United States Marine Corps. Sergeant First Class John P. Muldoon, Jr., United States Army. Airman First Class Robert M. O'Shaughnessy, United States Air Force. Airman First Class Daniel G. Valentino, United States Air Force. Corporal William W. Watts, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the President of the United States and a grateful nation, I salute you. Thank you. Round of applause, please. For this. At this point in our program, 
we will be honoring all those brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice, including Hingham's own Corporal Victor H. Rhodes, United States Army, and Second Lieutenant Richard F. Powers, United States Marine Corps, I would ask that all of you please rise as we salute the memorial wreath and the bugler sounds taps as I am joined by Deputy and Sergeant of the Guard of the Hingham Police Chief, David Jones. Please be seated. Again, thank you to Deputy Jones and Sergeant of the Guard Mansfield. I thought it only appropriate during these times as of late that we also recognize Hingham's finest, our men in blue as well, and we thank you. For today's benediction, the poem, I Am Not Forgotten, which can be found in your program by Richard L. Kirk, will be recited by Hingham High School Veterans Appreciation Club President, Hingham High School Senior Khalil Al-Nakala. I'm not forgotten. I've walked these Korean hills before, crossed these rivers, I have passed through these fields, heavy with the odor of growth. My presence is here and elsewhere, in the pages of a letter, yellow with age, at the edge of a photograph, on a torn dance program, I am by love begotten, I am not forgotten. Ladies and gentlemen, today's ceremony will conclude with the retiring of the colors by the combined color guard as the bugler sounds retreat, after which time you are all welcomed to join us for light refreshments in the central meeting room directly across the hall to celebrate with all our awardees. So there will be a photo shoot, so gentlemen on the stage, stay seated. Family members, that will be your opportunity to take a picture if you'd like and then please uh, exit so that we could speak to them and then uh, have them come over, all right? So at this time, all, please rise. Raise it! Order! 